All right, we've been on an arterial line education kick lately on my page. So let's just wrap this up with some troubleshooting tips if your arterial line is not accurately reading. Like I've mentioned, it is so important for your arterial line to give you an accurate reading. If it's not, then you're potentially titrating your medications and drips off of a blood pressure that's not accurate. And that can be uh, pretty dangerous. So let's talk about a couple troubleshooting things. First and foremost, I don't care if your waveform is underdamped or overdamped. Let's troubleshoot everything the same. There are certain things that can cause one versus the other, but like the reality of it is who cares? Let's just start troubleshooting from the beginning. The very first thing I do when I see an inaccurate arterial line waveform is I like to check the location where the arterial line is. So if it's in the wrist, I like to see if maybe the patient needs their wrist extended back a little more, or maybe they need it flexed forward a bit more. It's the, the, the arterial lines can be very positional and sometimes your patient may need like a, an arm board on or something to kind of keep it still or in a certain position. In my vented patients, sometimes I even will put like a towel underneath their wrist if they're like nice and still. The next thing I'll do is I'll do a little fast flush on the line to see is it flushing well. I check for any air bubbles. I check to make sure there's no kinks. I check to make sure that the arterial line bag is pumped up to about 300 millimeters of mercury and also make sure that saline bag that's in there is not empty. The next thing I like to do is zero my line. Another thing I like to do is see if I'm getting good blood return from my arterial line by using our little closed vamp system. If you don't have one of those, then you're going to have to do the traditional way of taking a syringe and kind of pulling back on the blood. But I like to see how easy am I able to pull back on that on the vamp to get blood flow. If I'm having to pull super, super hard, then the line might be positional or might be kinked a little bit. Sometimes you even need to look at the insertion site. Is there a little kink there? Or if you kind of just pull back just slightly, not saying pull it out, it's, it's dressed, but if you kind of just pull, push or pull just a slight little bit, just like you would do for an IV line that's not flushing well, does that make things better or does that make things worse? The next thing I like to do is check a manual blood pressure to see if that is correlating with my, what my arterial line waveform is. I would say the very number one cause of inaccurate arterial line waveforms though is typically the position. So mess with that patient's wrist or if it's up higher, mess with the position um, up in their arm or sometimes it's in the groin and see if that helps. If you do all of those things and it's still not accurately reading, sometimes your arterial line has just gone bad and it needs to get replaced. Okay, I think we covered everything. I know that was super quick, but if you want all this information and more, go check out my ICU crash course. I talk about this much more in depth and much slower, not just like in an under three minute segment. So go check that out. The link is in my bio.